Hey Exiles, how we doing? We are back playing some more Saga of Survival. How we going? So, welcome to update 14.1. Hope you guys are all excited for this. Big update, bit to go through. And hopefully today, we're going to raid someone. Okay, so that's going to happen. I'm going to opt in. We're going to do some raiding. We're going to get right into it now anyway. So, um, at the moment, only a few things that have changed, notably. So, you get the Elite Free Pass as a first time gesture. So you guys want to make sure that you guys take advantage of that before anything or that doesn't disappear. But um, finally, the locksmith table has been reintroduced back into the um, crafting menu. You need level 20 before you can do anything. Then you want to get the circle of power and this is going to allow you to salvage items, acquire tokens. So you guys can have better defenses later on if you guys want to protect yourselves. If you go out on a raid, you don't want to get revenge raided and have no defenses. So we did go through that through the, um, the patch notes. Uh, if you want to check that out, please check out the previous video and that will explain the uh, salvage items, the tokens and everything else in between. So do check that out. Anyway, before we craft those two workstations, I'm going to jump out to the world map. We're going to check out exactly what's going on because a few things have changed. So what you can see here, you'll notice this with your base as well, but you've got this little um, glow here. That's your protection and you can see other exiles. Whoops. I don't know why I went back into base, but let's go back out again. Sorry about that. Okay. So take two guys. So you're going to notice that your other bases have also got that protection as well. And obviously attack power, you need the locksmith table, which I've already got ready to go. I've got all the resources, it doesn't take much to get this one, but um, just to give you a bit of an idea of what you're sort of looking at, um, what you're seeing there with the development, oop, server maintenance, that's all right, we'll leave that alone for now. But you can see, I believe this is my development here, four out of five stars. That's what the game rates my base as at the moment. But once you get the table, this gives you the ability to see who is already on the, um, the PvP. So you can go to higher strength or, you know, um, more difficulty and then less and then non-existent basically. And then whoever's attacked you, then you've got the revenge list and then you can partake in that and get some revenge but we're going to go back into home we're going to check out the new workstations and we're going to go and raid hopefully you guys are going to get a kick out of this so let's get right into it if you guys are new make sure you hit that subscribe button guys notification bell all that sort of good stuff so you don't miss out on any future raids uh, that i'm going to do and also if you guys want to drop a comment hit the like button do all that sort of good stuff for me all right so locksmith table done now you can only craft one naturally and where's that circle of power let's get that crafted up as well just waiting for that to go through okay so let us and as you can see you got a little protection thing here so i'm guessing that's going to be your use of the tokens um but anyway let's place this somewhere uh for now i'm gonna you know what i don't really have too much too much space or area to place this guy so you know what you're gonna go there and then this guy has to go out here and you will go I'm just gonna put you there all right so let's have a look at that all right, so you got to place an item in the slot, get more valuable tokens, uh, okay, from special deals, okay. Let's see if I do that. That gives me four tokens. Let's remove that and put that in there. Gives you seven tokens, okay. Well, let's salvage that. Okay, so it's going to take some time to do so. And if I drop some more in there, naturally it's going to increase. So looks like you can stack probably maybe one out of one you, you probably won't be able to do any more i do have another bow somewhere so let's double check that now i've got one here somewhere yes i do i know that's full strength but let's face it i mean i don't use bows that much so can i no nah, okay 
So you can only uh, stack only you know two items at a time. It's going to take some time, so that's going to be a bit of a pain, but is what it is. So we're going to leave that there. Now I'm not too sure about these um, levels here. I'm not too sure if you have to keep uh, investing in items to salvage so you can get these tokens. So you know what? For the interest of everything for you guys as well, let's just go ahead and finish that off. And boom, got my tokens there. Anyway, I'm going to drop that in and I'm just going to let that salvage anyway. So we'll leave that as it is. And yeah, take it from there. So at least you get a little bit of an idea what the, how the salvage works. So, okay, perfect. PvP is on. Disable it to protect yourself from attack. So you can hit the, uh, the little switch there. And, um, and then you guys should be immune to any sort of attacks. But we're not going to do that today. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure my horse is ready to go. Okay, so that's going to give me two chest abilities as well. Uh, I'm sorry, carrying capacity, which is going to be awesome. Let's jump out. Let's take a look at how this works. All right, so. Okay, so no targets close by. Well, that's a pain. Can I? Okay. So novice protection in effect, which means I cannot attack. That should be illuminated in red if that was the case. Same deal. So you notice there's like a little white flag when you sort of scroll over the player's base that you're wanting to attack or thinking about to, to attack. Okay. No, unfortunately protection in effect. I think this is going to be for everyone as well. Well, that's not fair. Okay, alright, so it doesn't appear that I'm going to have that opportunity for now, which is not... Oop. Not what I really wanted to start off with for you guys, to be honest. So I really wanted to show you at least one base, possibly. Unfortunately, there is no one nearby. I mean, the targets here should be... This should actually tell you if there's anyone here, I'd imagine. But no targets close by, so... At this moment, I don't think I'll be able to show you a, a raid, unfortunately. We might have to wait out the time to... Potentially, yeah, do a raid, possibly. It might have to take till next video, unfortunately, guys. Because... As you can see, I guess that makes a lot of sense as well. So, I mean, pretty much ratings only just happened, you know, le less than 24 hours. But, yeah, it's not going to happen, unfortunately. So, we may have to reschedule this one. At least this is sort of like a quick little insight, quick little video, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea what to sort of look at, what to expect what you need to do when you've got to craft those two workstations to get things going. Um, you probably want to use this time um, you know, wisely before everything pretty much switches on for the first uh, lot of um, uh, raids. So you guys want to be obviously prepared for anything and everything. Now I know a lot of you guys are a bit worried about things, if you, especially if you lose items as well. So if you jump into your vault, there's a recovery section here. So anything that you lose, you'll be able to recover here. Now, exactly, I'm not too sure what's going to be the case for you to recover. I believe it's sapphires, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just trying to remember now from yesterday's video. But once that happens, then you guys will know exactly where to go, what you need to do, and it should be itemized, I'd imagine. And then, yeah, you just hit recover. It might be individual itemization, which I'm assuming that be the case. So. Let's say if you've got something that you really wanted to keep or hang on to, then at least that way you guys can sort of, you know, do that as a priority and take what you can get. And then thereafter, you know, work out what else you want or you just let everything go and then you cut your losses from there. That might be the way to sort of look at things. But I'm really bummed that I can't actually show you a raid today. So apologies, guys. Unfortunately, this is something that I can't 
you know, overcome. But let's go back home. And to be honest, we've had the PV, PVE luxury for quite some time. So if you guys really don't want to lose anything, and if you guys are working towards something, let's say base defense, for example, probably your best investment would be is to use the items that you've got ready in crafting, whether you've crafted it or not, or whether you're just leaving them in chests and things like that. I mean, for myself, I mean, I've got to really focus on the exterior of my base. I think I mentioned this in a previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You may as well just start building it and using your resources. You know, there shouldn't be a reason why that you should have to, um, you know, hoard anything. Especially now if you guys are going to especially opt into PvP. You probably want to just go ahead and, you know, uh, invest in your time, um, in your efforts there. So that will prevent you guys from losing too many things. And especially if you don't have the sapphires to recover anything. Um, well, that's how it's going to be, unfortunately. So for now, I think we're going to have to leave it here for today. It was just a really quick video of anything. Really wanted to sort of show a raid if anything, but otherwise, you know, in this case, we're going to have to wait. So I'm probably going to go ahead and post another video tomorrow. And at least you guys will have a bit of a look at it. And hopefully I can show you a bit of raiding anyway. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the update so far. I have noticed a little bug and a glitch. I've actually already reported it myself. Um, so it's the little crouch method where if you're trying to um, open up a chest or a barrel or something like that, your exile will stay frozen in that position as if he or she is trying to still unlock something. But you can move your exile around and run around and it's still in the crouching position. Only sort of changes if you gather an item or if you leave the zone or um or for you not even if you enter combat because it's still still in that crouching position if you guys experience that um let the devs know let them know, let them know that it's still an issue i've already done and submitted myself a ticket for that so if you guys haven't do it yourself but otherwise hopefully you're enjoying the update so far getting used to some of the things that we've got now in game um get yourselves prepared guys if you're going to enter pvp anyway we'll leave it here for tonight i'll catch you guys tomorrow and hopefully we'll get onto a raid. I'll see you uh, next time.